Hi, this is Joel Mayer. I will show you how to create a caterpillar inspired by the wonderful book The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Karl. To paint the body of the caterpillar, use different sizes of potatoes. Choose potatoes that are oval shaped. The potato used for the head can be more round. Begin by drawing a thin pencil line as a guide for the general shape of the caterpillar. Dip a small potato in the green paint to print the tail part of the caterpillar. Then, take a bigger potato for the rest of the body of the caterpillar. Eric Karl works primarily with collage techniques and superimposes different colors to achieve interesting color and texture effects. To try to recreate some of these effects, I suggest you work with two different shades of green. Start by dipping the potato in one shade of green and then dip a part of the potato in the other shade of green. And then proceed by printing the potato to form the body of the caterpillar. You could even add a third color, as I did myself for some sections. To represent the head of the caterpillar, take a potato with a round section and use a different color. I chose to match the colors of Eric Carl and make the head of the caterpillar red. Paint the antennas of the caterpillar with a cotton swab or a finger. Then, take a small potato to represent the eye. Do not do like I did, but let the paint of the head dry before printing the eyes, so that the colors don't mix. Then, print the inside of the eyes in green. The caterpillar is the larva of the butterfly, so it's an insect and most caterpillars have six legs on the front of their body. You can represent the legs by using a cotton swab and brown paint. Some caterpillars are hairy. To represent the hairs of the caterpillar, make lines above the caterpillar with a black marker. Caterpillars have also fake legs called prolegs that are the same color as the body. I used a cotton swab and two shades of green to represent them. To print the instructions shown in this project, click on the link below the video.